Before we get into the video that you actually came here to watch, I just wanted to introduce you lot to my brand new online store that I've created recently. Um, it's a bit bare bones at the moment. I'm only selling t-shirts for now, but once it starts picking up, I will start introducing new clothes. And if you are interested, it is linked in my description. So be sure to check that out. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, cool. So what your Yeezys say about you? So starting off, we have the 750 boots. So if you wear these shoes, you definitely have this haircut and definitely wears some sort of trench coat mixed with a scarf. And this guy definitely thinks he can seduce any woman, but he more times sounds like this. I love you more than there are grains of sand on every beach of every planet, of every galaxy of the universe. You fucking nonce. <laughs> okay, cool. Next up, we have the 700s. And if you wear these, you was definitely that guy to make fun of the Balenciaga shoes. And now he walks around in these like Jesus himself actually made them. But real talk, yeah, if you own these pairs of shoes, you are either Asian or a certified dad. Bash. 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 Luton Town. Bash. <laughs> Not one of them normal dads though. One of them dads that still thinks he's young and cool when in reality he just looks like a retired skateboarder. He probably acts like this in his son's football game. Scooby-Doo's less confused than you, you prick. You'll be confused up your fucking canister, up. Huh? You want to wait to the game, or do you want to make one with me now? Don't punch above your weight, you long streak of piss. Well, stop punching your old woman about then, wanker. What you fucking say, you mug? You fucking heard, you fat fucking joke. All right, cool. Now we have the Yeezy 500s. I don't know why, but I feel like people that wear these have a funny walk. Either type of people to walk with a limp, or whenever they're walking, they actually don't pick their feet up off the ground. Type of people, whenever they want to stop on a bike, they just put their feet on the ground. Alright, next we have the power phrases. And people that wear these are definitely the type of people that only bought these because they couldn't actually afford real Yeezys. Broke nigga alert. Broke nigga Is alert. Is it talking about me? Broke nigga I alert. So, my nigga. Broke Type of guy to take a girl out on a date and ask her if she brung her wallet. Type of person to walk into a charity shop and ask the person do they have anything on discount. Type of guy to buy these shoes and then spend about two hours trying to convince people these are actually Yeezys. Uh oh, retard alert! They are not Yeezys, my friend. They are a cash grab. You, you idiot! You're honestly an idiot! I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with you. And if you do own these pairs of shoes, you're definitely that weird kid in school. Crack kids at it again. Go. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, now we have the 950s, and all I'm saying is, if you own these pairs of shoes, your first name is probably Neil, and your last name is probably Armstrong. Literally wants to be an astronaut so bad, he literally bought space shoes. Okay, now we have the 380s. This is definitely the guy that will buy anything from Yeezy, good or bad. And this is a perfect example, because what the hell are these shoes? <laughs> literally, Kanye West could shit in a bag, and these people would actually buy it. Actually, better yet, Kanye West could write down on a little bit of paper saying Yeezy and these guys would actually buy it, most likely frame it, and then go on to compare it to like the Mona Lisa or something. Everybody knows you never go full retard. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Real talk, yeah, these shoes look like the 350s when you've left them in the wash too long. And don't worry, I am going to get to the 350s, just relax yourself. Okay, cool. Next, we have the Yeezy slides. If you own these slides, you definitely wear them more than actual shoes. Any occasion, this guy's wearing them. I mean, he probably wears them to bed as well. All right, so the Yeezy Quantum, he definitely has a split personality. Losing his nerve. No, not, never. Smeagol hates nasty horses. Smeagol wants to see them. Dead. And we will. The Yeezy 450s, to be fair, I quite like these shoes. They're very weird, but at the same time, very cool. But with that being said, this does give me Spider-Man 3 vibes. All right, now we have the Yeezy Knit Runner. And I don't know why, but this shoe just screams simp to me. Stay the fuck away from her. Dude, I got some little girl on my dude. Exactly, what the fuck you talking to her for? Hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. If a guy wears these, he's definitely the female in the relationship. Definitely the type of guy to be doing the washing up and listening to Ariana Grande at the same time. All right, now we've got everyone's favorite, the foam runners. And there is a high percent chance he does wear these more than his actual shoes. He probably attends sneaker conventions on the regular. All right, moving on, we have the Yeezy NSLTD. 
I don't know why they named it that. They should name this the Martian shoe. The shoe just looks like you've got a pillow wrapped around your ankle and you've squeezed your foot in like some Crocs or something. I'm sure this shoe does something to your foot because it looks warm as fuck. I wouldn't be surprised if you wore this shoe for like a week and you pull it out and you've got trench foot. Okay, cool. And now we have the Nike Yeezys. And these come under one category, so I'm not going to be listing, you know, individual pairs. But with that being said, if you do own these pairs of shoes, you are definitely very clued up on sneakers and have been into sneakers for a very long time. However, in the same sentence, you are probably 50 years old and you probably still dress like you're 22. Alright, cool. Last but not least, we have the Yeezy 350s. And if you do wear Yeezy 350s, you are definitely the type of guy to watch a whole YouTube video talking about Yeezys just for the content creator to turn around and be like, he's going to make a separate video on the Yeezy 350s. And yes, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I feel like there's so many different colorways with the Yeezy 350s. It does deserve its own video. Obviously, I did trick you. I do apologize. But um, yeah, it had to be done. Fool this man! But uh, with that being said, I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe. And until next time, I'm out.